We are back with a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be recapping game three of the Heat versus Celtics series. Man, what a whirlwind. What a roller coaster of a game. This game literally made me age 20 years, bro. That's how hectic and chaotic this game was. But we got a lot to get to, man. Uh, so many like storylines in this game. So many things that happened. Um, the Heat came up with a big W like on the road. So many circumstances that were going against the Heat. And we still managed to, you know, come out with a W and take a 2-1 lead into the series, which is huge for us. Because now, you know, we have secured, uh, well, not home court advantage because we are on the road, but uh, they don't have home court advantage anymore. So, you know, game three was a huge game, probably the most important game in any series that is tied 1-1. And we took care of business and I'm so, so happy. Um so let's get right into it, man. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Go check out my second channel. I've dropped two new videos, the mock draft video and um, a video talking about one potential breakout player from every NBA team for next season. Uh, so if you guys are interested in NBA and college basketball content, go check out my second channel. Let's get right into it. Like I said, what a, what a gutsy win by the Miami Heat. I tweeted this, man. Go follow my Twitter. I was very active on Twitter during this game. There was a lot of stuff that was going on in this game that, you know, everyone was talking about. It was like, yo, like who is playing like injuries this that like runs here and there the heat's first half you know the free throws bam like everything so um i was tweeting a lot during this game and i did tweet man there were so many circumstances going against us i just want to give a big shout out to all 15 players on that roster um for just gutting through this you know game it wasn't easy in the first half you know obviously we went out to a huge lead in the first half um and we were up by 26 at one point and then they cut it to 15 in the second half you thought that we would you know come back with the same intensity we had in the first quarter and then that we would try to close it out before the fourth quarter started but then the news broke jimmy butler was out for the game with knee inflammation which is the same thing that happened against the atlanta hawks um and uh first of all apparently according to five reasons the injury is not serious so that's good news we'll see what happens there's obviously going to be some updates but um uh yeah he went out and it was a big blow for the heat because consistent offense was hard to come by now we do got to get to the star the mvp of the game the guy who everyone well most heat fans were like yo i'm done with this dude like like this guy is not aggressive he is He's this, he's that, and granted, he, he had been terrible offensively for the first two games, but Bam Adebayo, man, I've been defending this guy for so long. Last After last game, I was like, man, he has to be more aggressive. Every Heat fan was like, he has to be more aggressive, and the team, him, this, like, they made it a concerted effort to find this dude and get, get this dude the ball every possession, especially in the first quarter, in the first half, and he went to work, man. He tore the Celtics up. Uh, obviously, Robert Williams was not there. He took advantage of that. And um, he finished with 31 points and 10 rebounds and six assists. He was so dominant that he actually led our team in points, assists, and rebounds. That's how good and impactful this dude was throughout the whole game. Um, and he was probably the best defender on the court as well. So he literally dominated the game. It was the BAM show. Um, and it was such so fun to watch. This is what he can do, man. Uh, people just have to realize the heat have to realize he has to realize everything should be going through bam uh, you know obviously jimmy also needs to get touches and all but like i think that there shouldn't be a possession where bam does not touch the ball you know you know he his usage rate has to be high because he's really a matchup nightmare against the celtics team um like i said rob was out but still i i, I still think that you know you got to go to bam early um and set the tone with him and that's what the heat did and 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 they made a statement they said that we're gonna get our big men involved and he obliged he wanted the ball every time um he got the ball and then he went to work so shout out to bam shout out to bam man i, I have nothing more to say about bam apart from the fact that this is who he is you know he is capable of doing this every single night um and obviously he probably won't have 31 next game but you still need the same aggressiveness and we're gonna need that same bam especially if you want to take a 3-1 lead um, which will put us in commanding position in game four on the road. Another piece of news, Kyle Lowry coming back really helped the team. Um, obviously did not score that much, but in trip, typical Kyle Lowry fashion, this guy just comes back, sets the tempo, you know, feeds his you know players, six assists. Uh, he had he had a incredible, incredibly like huge steal at the end. Like that steal when they inbounded the ball, that basically sealed the game because you know the Celtics were on the run. 
after the Heat scored, um, the Celtics were out of inbound. This guy literally went up and stole the ball, took it out of Smart's hands. Um, so shout out to Kyle. He played amazing. Victor Oladipo. I want to give this guy so much credit because this guy did not play in the first half. He was out of the rotation. In the second half, he had to start insert be inserted in the starting lineup without Jimmy. And this dude, defensively, bro, he was stripping Jalen Brown every single time he was on him. Um, I know Jalen Brown had a playoff career high, but Oladipo deserves tons of credit. P.J. Tucker, 17 huge points, 7 huge rebounds. Defensively, he gutted it out on that bad quad or whatever that was injured for him. Um, it was a tough night for Tyler. It was a tough night for Tyler. Uh, I thought he was a liability at times. It was forcing his shot. I thought I thought he should have been more patient with the shot or try to you know set his teammates up if he wanted to. Uh, and ended up not playing the fourth quarter. Uh, most of the fourth quarter because defensively we already know he's not it but offensively he was really shooting us out the game at times um but so it's a tough series for him and you know like i said to make or break for tyler hero it's now or never because he has to show up in game four i don't expect bam to have 31 so we're gonna need scoring from someone else especially if jimmy's not 100 percent. so uh tyler's gonna have to step up in game four um Struess, i thought was huge man hit some big threes uh defensively he he had a big strip uh, in transition when Tatum was uh, driving for a layup. Um, so I thought he was huge. Uh, Duncan got some minutes, uh, hit a floater, but obviously, you know, he was getting played off the floor because of his defensive issues. I, th I thought Caleb had a couple of big steals. Um, he should have had an and one. You know, I, I really don't know because we got to get to this officiating. I'm not a guy to complain about the refs, but the free throw disparity is insane. Uh, they shot uh, 33. I mean, sorry, I'm looking at threes. They shot 30 free throws um, and we shot 14 and like about six or seven of those 14 free throws were literally in garbage time when they were playing the foul game. So we we basically shot only five or six free throws uh, throughout the course of that game, which were actually like fouls, fouls. Um, they shot 30. So the free throw disparity was huge. Um, I don't really know at this point what's a block and what's a charge. Like obviously if someone's in the restricted area, it's, it's, it's obviously not a charge, but as far as you know what is legal guarding position what is not you know if you get elbowed to the face is that a foul is that a, is that a charge is that a block in the shooting motion like because they had a play in the first half where i think someone drove into smart i think it might have been bam 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 drove into smart and he he was in shooting motion he elbowed him they called a, 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 an offensive foul um or they called a blocking foul. They, they they had they had they called one foul over then. They called a completely different foul when Caleb Martin was driving and he did the same thing to Smart. Um, I think it was Smart that did it to Bam. Sorry, Smart drove into Bam, um, and they called a uh, a blocking foul. And then when Caleb drove into Smart, they called an offensive foul. So it's two completely different situations there. Um, I don't know what the uh, the, the refs you know were, were thinking. Like I, I I really don't know what's a block and what's a charge. I don't know what's a push off and what's not. Gabe Vincent pushed off on Tice apparently, but then literally the next play, Jalen Brown pushes off and scores, or, or, or they score off of that possession, and um, it, it was ridiculous. Like, like I'm not like I said, I'm not, I don't talk about the refs much on this channel, man. But it's kind of apparent to see what's going on out there at times. Um, and it, like I don't, I'm not saying they're intentionally doing it, but like, come on, bro, like be better. Um, but yeah, hopefully Jimmy's close to 100% for game four uh, because game four is huge, man. We won game three. If we can steal game four, bro, that will put us in the driver's seat like firmly because I know 3-1 leads is a joke for some teams like the Warriors and the Thunder and who all, whoever blow, blew a 3-1 lead, the Clippers. But I strongly like uh, I'm... I, I, I do not think that the Miami Heat will blow a 3-1 lead. I don't think that's in their you know, DNA. Like, I think once you have a lead, I think they're going to, you know, finish business if you have a 3-1 lead. So a 3-1 lead in the series would be huge. Um, and, you know, we got to go out in Boston and, and take game four, man. Game four is going to be the most important game of this of this series now because once they win, if they win game four, um, then we got to go back to Miami tied 2-2. And then it's going to be a whole, you know, three-game series and we'll see who wins that. But I'm hoping we win game four. I'm, I, it's going to be tough. Robert Williams is probably going to be back. Um, but... I still think this Heat team can do it. Um, the way they were playing in the first half, man, even with Robert Williams out there, I don't think the Celtics had, had an answer. I think they started making a run because the Heat were kind of getting away from their offense. But um, when the Heat are on, man, 
it's beautiful to watch so um shout out to the miami heat they did everything they needed to do to win this game i gutted it out towards the end i just cannot emphasize the amount of things that were going against them uh throughout the course of this game i know tatum and smart went to the locker room i actually don't know how they came back so quickly um like prayers up if those were injuries bro but like it's kind of sus to me how tatum literally came back two minutes after like it, what it looked like he dislocated his shoulder it ran through a bam screen and was completely fine so um yeah i mean i hopefully everyone's healthy for game four that's all i want i just want a healthy series so I'm, I'm tired of the excuses and whatnot i'm tired of the narratives i'm just tired of injuries man so hopefully we get a healthy series um uh moving on and hopefully jimmy plays game four looks 100 percent, and hopefully bam plays with the same aggression that he did shout out to coach Polstra, the best coach in the nba proving that time and time again this guy's a winner champion everything um, and yeah, man, the Heat deserved a ton of credit. They win game three. On to game four. I'm super excited for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you later as always.